Hey, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So very recently I just had my parents come and visit me in Japan and we had a wonderful trip together. They were here for about a week. Traveling with them helped me realize the kinds of words that people need to know when they're traveling Japan. A lot of them aren't completely necessary, but they just kind of show respect and show that you are caring about the language and stuff like that. And honestly, traveling in Japan, it's not that hard if you can't speak the language because everybody is so kind and so helpful. So even if they can't speak any English, they'll likely try and find someone who can or they'll do their very best to charade it out to you. It's not a huge necessity, but in order to show back some of the kindness and love that they show you, it's really important that you learn just a couple of phrases and Honestly, it's just gonna make your travel so much easier when you're here in Japan. I've left out a couple of really important ones, like ones that I thought people may already know, but I'm trying to keep it as small of a list as possible. Oh, by the way, my Japanese pronunciation is not perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm obviously not native. Japanese. It doesn't matter too much what your pronunciation is when you're just traveling for a little bit because any kind of sign that you're trying to learn the language is a good sign in their books. But yeah, let's get into it. The first one, of course, you need to know how to say thank you, which is arigatou gozaimasu. So you can just say arigato, which is kind of, it's more casual, just means like thanks. But if you want to be more polite and show a bit more respect, you can say arigatou gozaimasu. You'll be using this all the time because Japanese people are so kind and polite, so I use this Word all the time please know how to say it because it means the world I had a friend who came to visit and she was scared to pronounce things incorrectly therefore she would just say thank you in English which is fine that I don't think people would get mad at you for that but it just shows that you're going that extra bit if you're trying to speak their language a little bit so don't worry about the pronunciation for now if you just here for a little bit please use arigatou gozaimasu the next one, you'll use this all the time, especially in Tokyo because there is a million people here. That word is sumimasen, and sumimasen means excuse me, and it can also mean sorry in most situations. So if you bump into someone, you can be like, ah, oh, sumimasen, which is totally fine if you're just saying, ah, oh, excuse me, rather than, oh, sorry, which is why I left out the word for sorry in Japanese because I don't want to make the list too um, long and boring. And use it in all situations when you're sitting at a restaurant and you want to get the waiter's attention, you can say, sumimasen, and that feels kind of rude, but it's totally normal in Japan. So give it a go. It's kind of fun and liberating to just yell, excuse me, above the restaurant, but Please do it in Japanese. Oh wow, that would be really bad in English. You probably bump into people and be in the wrong place and you, you just want to say sorry to the whole of Japan. So just say sumimasen all the time. An easy way to remember it is excuse me, Mason. Yeah, just sounds like it. Next one, number three, very easy. And that's hai, which just means yes. Yeah. Number four, this is the word like my parents would often ask, how do I say no in Japanese? So if someone offers me a bag and I don't want a bag, how do I say no? Technically the word for no is iye, but you don't often say it and it can sound a little harsh if you're just like iye in like in a restaurant or whatever. A more polite and easy way to say it is daijoubu. And you say this all the time, this is like, like top five words that I'll be using every day in Japan. Daijubu means okay, it means it's all right, it means kind of like no thanks, it's like ah it's okay, I'm okay, it's all right. So if someone like bumps into you and they are saying ah oh, sumimasen, you can say daijoubu, which means that's okay, that's fine. Also if someone's like do you want a drink with that, you can say ah oh, daijoubu. Number six is onegaishimasu. This isn't a word that you'll be using too much when you are traveling Japan, kind of. You won't, you won't really need to use it too much, but it's very useful to know what it means. They'll say it all the time, all the, all the, all the time. And my parents are often saying, what do they say? And what do they say? And I'm like, oh, onegaishimasu. So in Japanese, it can mean please. It also means let's work together. Let's have a it's hard to explain in English, but it basically means please. So if somebody asks you at the convenience store, do you want a bag? You can say, hai, onegaishimasu. So you hear it quite a lot, that's just why it's on the list. You don't have to say it all that much, but it's good to know what it means. Number seven, very useful if you're traveling Japan and you don't speak much Japanese at all, and that is, eigo wakarimasu ka? And that is, do you understand English? You could ask someone in English, do you understand English? But it just seems a little nicer if you say it in Japanese. You can just say ego. Say ego? 
with <laughs> with your hands up like this and a confused look on your face that can work too sometimes number eight super helpful when you're traveling around and you're trying to find the right train and you want to know where something is you can say something something whatever it is you're looking for doko deska so doko is where and deska means it's a question. You could say, uh, 7-Eleven, doko desu ka? And that's, where is 7-Eleven? Or you can point on a map and say, doko desu ka? You can also just say doko, <laughs> with your hands up like this again. Yeah, doko desu ka is a very, very useful one for when you're traveling. Next on the list, and this is something that surprisingly, not a lot of like my friends that are living here know how to say, and I use it all the time. Something, 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 whatever it is you're looking for, Arimasuka, that means is there. So if you go into a convenience store, you may ask the person, ATM, Arimasuka, means is there an ATM here? Do you have an ATM? You can go into like shops and be like, Coca-Cola, Arimasuka, do you have Coca-Cola? Oh, it's so useful, so useful. If you speak in English, you'll have to say, do you have Coca-Cola? But in Japanese, it's the opposite way around. So when Japanese people hear, do you have, they may expect this to be the subject and this to be the the, you know, the extra part of the sentence that I can't remember the name of. It's just so useful if you can say something, 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 arimasu ka. Very, very, very useful. Give it a go and you'll be surprised how easy it is to communicate with people, so. And the very last one is one that I asked my parents, what did you need to say when you're in Japan and you wanted to know how to say it? And my dad said, I wanna know how to say, can I use a credit card? Japan is a very cash-based society. It's kind of great, but it's also kind of not when you just wanna pay with a credit card and you wanna know if that's okay, but there's not many shops that do accept credit cards. So the way that you say credit card, are you ready for the most complicated Japanese ever? Kurejito kado. That's credit card in Japanese. <laughs> if you want it to be really simple, just say credit card. Put your hands up and go, hmm? And <laughs> that may work. Or you could say credit card, daijoubu desu ka? Which is that number that I used before on number four. So yes, it's all, it's all coming together. Credit card, daijoubu? That's totally fine. People will know exactly what you mean if you say that. And yes, it's going to be very helpful if you're using your credit card all the time. I hope that you found this list useful. I'll be making another video of this, but these are 10 more Japanese words that you should know when you're traveling Japan, possibly for people that are traveling, traveling a bit longer in Japan. So stay tuned for that. Once again, my Japanese is not perfect. I'm not 100% fluent in Japanese, but I'm confident in knowing the words that you should know when you're traveling Japan, because I have lived here for a long time and I've had lots of visitors come and these are the words that they wanted to know so there you go hope you've enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more you can subscribe if you don't want to see any more please continue to leave hate in the comments because it just makes YouTube suggest it more so <laughs> um, anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye